Hey, what's up mga kasinina? Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Salamat po sa mga nag-likes ng aking videos at nakapanood ng aking kauna-unahang mathematics video sa Shinina TV Philippines. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood at hayaan niyo po na pagkabutihin ko pa ang mga lessons na itatampok ko sa ating Shinina TV Philippines. Ngayon, kung bago ka pa lang po sa aking channel, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-like, subscribe at comment para po sa ating mga video na pinapalabas araw-araw. Bago po tayo magsimula sa araw na ito, shoutout po po pala muna kay Ms. Ruby Habal. At Ruby, paki-subscribe uh, po ng channel ko para po updated kayo sa mga lessons na ipapost ko po dito. Kay Ms. Kat Perer, ma'am, salamat po sa inyong magandang comment sa aking video. Kay Gia Neperado, na aking mag-aaral sa grade 7. At higit sa lahat sa aking idol. Idol, what's up mga kadwa? Salamat sa iyong pag-mention sa aking channel. Hayaan mo, dahil sa iyo, pag ko pa ang mga Uh, ipapalabas ko sa aking uh, channel na ito. Hayaan mo at ikaw ang aking maging inspirasyon upang pagbutihin ko pa ang mga itatampo kong mga lesson sa aking uh, channel na ito. Uh, ngayong umaga po ay simulan natin ang ating, ating lesson at ating pinapalakayin sa umagang ito ang how uh, to multiply polynomials using the lattice method. Simulan po natin. Okay. Let us begin our lesson for today with these two binomials. The given is the quantity 3x plus 2 times the quantity 4x plus 5. All we have to do, the first thing that we'll have, we'll have to do is to write down the coefficients of the number to the upper part and to the uh, right part of the squares, which is the lattice square. So let's begin with writing 3x plus 2. So the coefficients here at the upper part should be 3 and 2. While on the right side, We're going to write 4 and 5. 4 and 5. So we're going to write 0 on the lower part of each square. So 0 here, 0, 0, and 0. Now let's begin to multiply. So 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And 2 times 4 is 8. Again, 5 times 3 is 15. And then 5 times 2 is 10. So, let us now add or sum or get the sum of the numbers inside the square. So, we have here 0 plus 10 plus 0, that is 10. So, by the way, here is 0 na lang yan. That's all. That's equal to 0. Then, 5, 8 times 15 is 23. And then, 12. Now, Since we are multiplying polynomials, ibig sabihin nito, we're going to raise the exponent kung ano yung exponent na sa taas. Here, x and x, so meron din tigo 1 na exponent, so therefore, ang highest exponent natin, ang product, ang, ang exponent ng ating product is square. So, get the first coefficient here. We have here 12x squared plus 23 x plus 10. Kung napunan ninyo, habang, uh, ano, habang uh, papalayo, so kailangan magbawas ng isang exponent. So, 2 times 2, ito naman naiging 1 siya. So, that is. Now, on to our next given is 2x squared minus 4x plus 3 quantity times the quantity 5x squared plus x minus 5. Again, yung bilang po, yung klase ng square na gagamitin ninyo, depende po sa, da, sa number o bilang ng inyong uh, equation o ng inyong given. Let's say it's a trinomial, trinomial times trinomial. So, you're going to create 3 by 3 square or lattice. 3 by 3. So, 3 sa taas, 3 columns, 3 columns, 3 columns. So, ganun po yung paggawa ng lattice square. Again, so, yung gagawin natin, ilalagay natin or going to write down the coefficient of each Uh, given. So, we're going to write down here 2, negative 4, and 3. On the other side, write down here 5. So, dito, anong nilalagay natin dito? Of course, ang nilalagay natin dyan is 1. And then, ito ay negative 5. Double check po natin, ha? At lalo na po yung mga sign, kasi karaniwan po, nagkakamali-mali tayo ng uh, sagot dahil po hindi natin nakikita yung mga sign na nilalagay natin. So again, next thing gagawin natin is lagyan natin ng 0 sa bawat ibaba ng bawat square. So 0, 0 dyan. 
Huwag po kayong maduduling, no? Kinap po natin na kailangan na sa baba po yung zero. Yung bawat square. Ayan na po. Then, mag-multiply na po tayo. So, 5 times 2, that is 10. Then, 5 times negative 4, that's negative 20. Then, 5 times 3, that is 15. Next is 1 times 2, that is 2. And then, 1 times negative 4, that is negative 4. And then, 1 times 3 is 3. Next, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then, negative 5 times negative 4 is 20. And then, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Yan, ilagay na po natin. So, ang susunod na gagawin natin is, we're going to add each lattice. So, ito ay 0. Ito ay negative 15. So, ito ay 3 plus 20, that is 23. And then, 15 minus 4, that is 11. And then, 11 minus 10 is 1. And then, negative 20 uh, plus 2, that is negative 18. And this is 10. So, again, para po natin nasulat yung final answer natin, we're going to look on the first um, digit or the first term of each equation. So, ito ay 2x squared equal 5x squared. Tingnan natin yung exponent niya. So, yung sabihin, pag tingnan natin yung exponent, 2 plus 2, ang highest exponent ng ating product is 4. Then, we're going to get now the coefficient sa taas. So, that is 10, x to the 4th, minus 18x. Sunod sa kanya, sa baba sa kanya, that's cube. Then, plus x squared. Then, plus 23x. Then, minus 15. So, yan po. On our, to our next example, we have x cubed plus x minus 3 multiplied by 2x cubed minus 1. So, minsan, take note po tayo sa mga given. Minsan kasi meron mga given na incomplete polynomial. Sige sabihin, hindi naka, naka, uh, naka, naka, ano, nakalagay lahat yung dapat na arrangement ng polynomial from highest exponent going to the lowest exponent. Kagaya dito. So, kailangan natin i-revise, isulat natin para makita, makita natin yung exact na pagkakasulat talaga dapat niya sa kanyang polynomial, ano, poly, polynomial, uh, tamang pagsulat ng polynomial. So, kailangan kasi from highest exponent going to the lowest exponent. Dito, sa given number 1, from x cubed, biging x kaagad siya. So, ibig sabihin, nawawala yung x squared dyan. Now, on the second equation naman, 2x cubed, then minus 1 kaagad. So, may nawawalang dalawang term ng polynomial dyan. So, all we have to do is to rewrite this in a correct way. So, dapat ito ay x cubed plus 0x squared. Kasi wala yung x squared, kaya lalagyan natin ang 0 dyan. Then, plus x minus 3. So, that will be the correct arrangement of polynomial. The correct ano, uh, set up of polynomial. Next, what about this one? So, this should be 2x cubed. Uh, plus 0x squared plus x plus 0x rather 0x minus 1 so yeah na-reveal lahat siya so 1, 2, 3, 4 then 1, 2, 3, 4 that's why we use we, write, uh, we create a 4 by 4 lattice kasi alam natin na ito ay composed of 4 terms kasi yung highest exponent na is 3 so again ilagay nyo natin yung mga coefficient ng bawat term sa ating, ano, sa ating polynomial. Sa ating minumutin natin polynomial. This could be 1. This is 0. 1, then negative 3. That is for this one. What about this one? We have 2, 0, 0, and negative 1. Then again, lagyan natin ng 0 yung bawat squares. So 0, sa baba ng square, no? Lagyan natin yung 0 sa bawat ibaba ng square. Nasa loob ng pinakamating square. So, 0 again. Mag-iingat po kayo sa pagsulat ng 0 dito. Baka sa, sa taas ninyo mailagay. Ha? So, again, we multiply na. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 0 is 0. Then, this is 2. This is negative 6. Next, since 0 ito, 0 na yung lahat. So, any number multiplied by 0 is 0, di ba? It's the rules in mathematics. And 0 ito, 0 na rin lahat yung sila dyan. Next, Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 
then this is 0, absolutely 0, this is negative 1, and this is 3. So right term, we're going to write term of the numbers, we have here is 0, this is 3, this is negative 1, this is 0, it's negative 1, uh-huh, no, this is not negative 1, instead this is negative 7, rather, negative 7, so this is 2, this is 0, and this is 2. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung exponent na minimultiply natin. This is 3, and this is 3. So therefore, the highest exponent of our product is 6. So this is 2, diba? So 2x to the 6. Then, since 0 yan, wala tayo ilalagay sa 5. Kasi this is for 6, this is for 5, and this is for 4. So plus... 2x to the 4th then this is for 3 negative 7x cubed 2 na yan, diba? for square na yan, so wala tayong nalagay ng square so minus x then plus so that is that will be our answer next given, we have 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7 multiplied by x squared minus 1 okay, tingnan natin Ano ang nawawalang apart sa unang given? Okay, so kailangan natin siyang i-write sa ganitong paraan. So this will become 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 0x plus 7. Handaan natin, since 3 yan, ibig sabihin 4 terms dapat ang lalabas dyan. What about in, in, on the next part? x squared minus 1. Since 2 yan, dapat tatlong term yan. So, may nawawalang term dyan. So, dapat yan ay x squared plus 0x minus 1. So, this is a 4 by 3 lattice or rectangular. Hindi po square, meron din siyang rectangular. So, kapag rectangular siya, dapat alamin natin kung ilan nasaan yung 4 terms, nasaan yung 3 terms. So, in this case, ang 4 terms natin, natin nasa taas dapat nakalagay. So, ang mga digits niya, yung mga ano niya, yung mga coefficients niya ay 5, negative 2, 0, tsaka 7. While on this side, we have 1, 0, and negative 1. Okay. Then, we're going to put down zeros on the lower part of each square. Sa loob ng rectangular lattice na yan. Okay. Again, careful sa paglalagay ng zeros. So, we're going to multiply now. 1 times 5, that is 5. Then 1 times negative 2, that's negative 2. So 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 7 is 7. 0 ito, so it, mean, it means lahat ng nasa part na yan ay 0 sila. So any number multiplied by 0 is 0. Okay. And this. Negative 1 times uh, 5 is negative 5. So negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. 0 times negative 1 is 0, and 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Then, we're going to add each lattice. This is 0, negative 7. This is 0. This is 9. So, this is negative 5. It's negative 2. And last is 5. Now, let us look again on the given number, or the given the highest exponent, or the, what will be the exponent of our product? So we're going to add 3 plus 2. So the highest exponent of our product is 5. So if this is a fifth degree polynomial. So this 5 now here, so we put it right down here 5x to the fifth. And then minus 2x to the fourth. Minus 5x cubed. Plus 9x squared. And this is 0, so walang x dyan. Then minus 7. So that's it. That will be our answer on this given.